the, the, this has always been my case. I've, I've been a part owner of a school, and I always thought that um, it changed my behavior towards students as a teacher. Because I, as a teacher, I'd go into the common room during breaks. But now that I'm an owner in the school, I would arrive early, so I'd be first there when the students come in. Um, when they're out on break, I, I would have expected that you would have your lunch at 11.30, so when the students are out, you're, you're meeting with them, kind of thing. So I really appreciate the time you've given to me no, right now. No, you know, when I, when, I, when I do it is I interact with students normally during class. Oh, okay. So you're wandering around into the rooms. Yeah, I'll have nice. to come into the rooms for things, and I wonder, and I'm the one who shuffles them into class. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so the that's, outside. Yeah, so so the, kind of the late ones you get to know. Right. And I pretty much, pretty much talk to everybody. I deliver the books. Mm -hmm. I deliver messages. I've often thought that a language school is similar to a cruise ship because you come to the school free of a lot of your normal responsibilities. There's things to do during that time when you're on the cruise ship, and then you're going to leave. Will we be reported. Yeah. Supposedly, condom sales around language <laughs> schools jump. <laughs> When, when students are in class, when, when they're language, when, once the language schools come to an area, like the condom sales in the stores around it jump. Okay, that was not the first <laughs> thing that came to my mind, but yeah. Because... When you're talking about it, I think a lot of people are coming out of relationships, especially I meet a lot of like, women who are coming out of relationships. They're making a transition. Yeah. yeah, and it's like they're trying to do something different. And isn't that why people go on cruises? Yes. That's why it, 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 maybe someone's died and they're taking a cruise to take their mind off. And I think of this, it. but this is a little bit more. It's not so much let's go party, but it has a little bit more of a kind of something a little bit deeper to it. And it's also why people learn in an immersion situation because some of the stresses that are associated with a typical school. There's a reason why they didn't learn in a school right. setting. Yes. So. It, to create an absolute identical school setting to what they have been used to may not serve some of those students. Well, I told Amanda, is that her name? The, the, I told her last night, she's like, I, you know, I need to learn a language, but I don't know languages. I was like, you need to find some small town in some place that has a language school where nobody speaks English, and you need to move in with the host family, you need to eat their food, you need to go to school, you need to really immerse yourself. I don't know. I'm not too sure the word. I'm not too what the difference between the words immersion and submersion. Oh, I've never heard it. That's because, submerse yourself. Yeah, I've always. Wow. Because immersion, I still have my head above water. Yeah. Why don't you submerse? Yeah. Now you've got no escape. Yeah. So I mean, this is like you know, it's like you almost in the point where you almost drowned in the language, and right. you're forced to you're forced to survive with it. Which is what I'm into. He, after school, he was going into volunteer work. Okay. He uh, met with people who were not Saudi. And I think he has an excellent, he has eight points, we discussed them. What you do when you, it's a weekend, do not stay with your Saudi friends. That's true. That's I know. Sure. That's, all right, I gotta get back yeah. up. Thanks.